Hey guys, my name is Michael Cheek with Mike'sGuitarLessons.com. This is going to be the first video for uh, Janie May by the Ferrets. This song came out in 1977, so this one is as old as me. And I wasn't aware of the song before, but one of my website users at Mike'sGuitarLessons.com uh, made a special request, hired me to do this song. So um, it took me a little while to get around to it, but I'm happy to do it. Um, it's a good song and uh, has some good um, chords in there for people who might just be going into bar chords um, you know right now and it just has one bar chord in it so it's a good one to uh, practice that with okay now let me go ahead and start by telling you the chords that are in the song okay um, we're gonna end up using uh, and I'm gonna just run through these really quickly but we're not gonna do a big tutorial over how to play these chords because you probably know them from somewhere else. If you don't, look up my um, YouTube chord library that I have. I also have that on my website at mikesguitarlessons.com. Um, and uh, speaking of website things, you can uh, follow me on Twitter at Mike's Guitar. That's my name, at Mike's Guitar. Um, I also have a blog that's uh, webguitarlesson.com. I also have a, a Facebook group, Mike's Guitar Lessons. And so, you know, all those places, uh, you can find me if you look for me. So, the chords in the song. Um, we're going to start the song off with an E chord. Okay. Um, but that verse that starts the song, uh, that E chord is there at the beginning of the song. But that's the only time it leads off in the verse. Normally, when you start the verse, it's going to be the A chord. So, E is the first chord we play in the song, E major. But then we quickly go to an A chord. We're also going to have B minor. This is that bar chord that I'm, I was telling you about, so you can kind of see how I'm playing that one. Okay. Um, let me see. We also have a C chord in the song. Most people are familiar with that if you've been playing guitar a little while. All right. And we have a G chord. Now, you can use this formation. You can use this formation where you add that D. Um, you can do this. You can even do this large G fifth if you want to. You know, they're all going to work pretty good. G fifth, a little less desirable, but um, you can do all, all those versions. It's going to sound fine. Okay, so just make sure it's some form of that G chord without being like a G7 or anything like that. All right. Um, I think that's all the chords. I'm looking at my notes here. I've got it all written down so I don't get lost. Um, we're going to start off on the verse, okay? Now, what I would like to do is play along with the verse real quick, and I'm having to use a YouTube video because I didn't, um, I didn't actually, I wasn't able to find this song on iTunes or Amazon or anything else, anything else like that, so I'm having to use a YouTube video here to, uh, manage my sound, so I'm doing my best to control it here, so you'll have to be patient. So um, a few technical issues tonight. Um, one is that, one is my guitar is peaking my microphone a little bit, so if it pops too much, try to bear with me. I'm trying to keep the, from playing too loud, that's why I've got the sound hole cover in here. But uh, let's go ahead and play along with the song, and I'm going to stop it after the first verse, okay? And then we're going to learn that. Okay, now that was the verse. Just play with your normal chords. I'm going to show you that, but I want to make a special note here. I might only teach the verse in this first video because I've got an alternate way to play it that's a little more accurate to the way they're playing it in the song. Um, but this first way I'm going to show you is a very good way to start out, especially if you're fairly new to guitar. Okay, now, like I said before, this E chord at the beginning... It's only used at the beginning of the verse, this very first time when the song starts out. So E comes at the beginning of this verse, but after that, it doesn't. A is the first chord, okay? Now, um, I'm not going to go too much into that rhythm at the beginning. It's basically just like... Um, something like that, you know? 
I'll have to study it a little harder, and maybe I'll throw it on to the end of this video. But you got the E chord at the beginning, strumming, and then you're going to go to the A chord and strum one time and let it ring. And that's when they're going to sing, out in a paper boat on a windy sea. And you're going to go to a B minor right there, and you're going to play this, um, you know, shuddering or stuttering uh, rhythm, okay? And uh, basically with that bar chord held down, you're able to play the chord and then let the pressure up on all your fingers here to stop that chord. Just like that. Okay? And then when it's time to go to the E chord, it's right when you, he sings happily sailing along. So happily sailing along. Okay? Now, I do want to, you know, there's several rhythms in this song. When you go to that E chord, you're going to be doing this kind of straight down one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four rhythm, all down strokes, but you're going to be accenting some of those um, strums, and that gives it kind of a little bit of a texture or depth to the uh, sound. So, um, out in a paper boat on a windy sea, happily sailing along. Okay, so you can kind of see that. And then right on a long, right on the L and a long, that second syllable, you're going to go to the A chord. Okay? And then you're going to the next line, which is, and we're going to go use the E and the A chord. Sit in a corner, stand on your head and laugh. Okay? And then it kind of does the same thing again. Um, well, exactly the same thing. Sit in a corner. Stand on your head and laugh. Okay, so pretty simple there at the beginning. Um, and I played along with it right there at the beginning, so you can copy me when I'm playing along with it. On a side note, I will play along with this entire song for you so you can see it from beginning to end. I'll probably put that on the last video, though. Um, now, uh, we're going to actually talk about how we can change this a little bit. For the most part, what we just played... You want to keep it that way. However, on the, um, except for that first A chord when they're going out in a paper boat, you're, you know, that one stays the same. Strum that just like that one time, let it ring. But every A chord after that, we can go to the, this kind of blues fifth chord or power chord playing where we're going. Okay. So what that is, basically, it, it's just a two-note chord, and we're going to play open on the A string, okay? And then to start off with, we're going to play second fret on the D string, okay? And then the chord we're going to switch to briefly is where we put our third finger on the fourth fret of the D string, but we're still playing open on the A string, okay? So we get this... sounding like this. Out in a paper boat on a windy sea Happily sailing Sitting Stand on your head and laugh Sitting You can hear that in the song. If I rewind it, you'll hear that. A chord, B minor. Here's the A. So I think I've explained that part pretty good. I tried to go a little faster here so we could get the pre-chorus in the song. We've got in the song we got the verse, we got a pre-chorus, then the chorus. Other than that, we have a section where we're playing during the solo, and that's it. So we're pretty much a third away, third of the way through the song. So let's go ahead and get to the pre-chorus. 
That's the section that just started. But in the morning, I won't be allowed to play, no. They can wait and then, because mama says, I gotta go up today. I apologize immensely for my off-key tone. <laughs> Besides being a little sick, um, I'm not uh, the greatest singer. So, you know, you're going to have to deal with it. Okay, so starting on the pre-chorus, like I said, it's a C chord at the beginning. And you're just strumming that C chord kind of a little bit slowly and then letting it ring. And that's it, okay? So, but in the morning, I won't be allowed to play. And right on the first syllable of play, you're going to strum the G chord the same way. So, in the morning, I won't be allowed to play, no. Okay? And then on the second line, um, on Because Mama Says, you're going to hold that B minor and do that same kind of stop and go rhythm that you are doing before. Because Mama Says, I gotta grow up today. And right on the second syllable of, of today on, on the D, you're going to go to the E chord and uh, kind of do that same rhythm where you're going, today, yeah, yeah, okay? So, sorry for the singing again, but I'm going to try it here. Uh, man, okay. But in the morning, I won't be allowed to play, no. Wait. Because mama says, I gotta go up to And then we've got the chorus right after that. So thanks for hanging in there if you're still watching um, for my singing. And um, let's go ahead and call that quits for this first video. Um, practice those parts. Go to the next video and learn the uh, actual chorus. And then what we play during the solo. And you'll have all the rhythm parts of the song. If you're really interested in the solos, um, I'm going to have those videos too. I plan on doing them. That's what I was hired to do. And um, they'll all be on my website at mikesguitarlessons.com. So please check it out. Um, there's a lot of stuff there. 